Let's get started with some uh, cosmetic changes to this bad boy. Um, so first thing, you can actually see one of the, the first things I did. I got some vinyl um, die cut or laser cut vinyl lettering to, uh, to kind of black out the red on the GMC logo. It wasn't a perfect fit. You, if you get a really close, you can kind of see the, the uh, red edges underneath there. So I'm probably gonna uh, replace those eventually with the OE GMC logos. So today I'm gonna install a grill overlay. And what it does is it's basically a grill piece. So these are two individual pieces, this section and then this section are two pieces uh, of, of plastic. This one happens to be that kind of black chrome look. Um, I'm going to install an overlay over that to give it a totally blacked out look. Um, and the cool thing is the overlays actually have, here is my hand, you can see they've got kind of a, a mesh inset in there as well. So this is the lower piece. And what I've been doing is trimming on it so it can fit around the 360 camera. And I think I've got that pretty good here. You can see um, the, the notches I cut inside there. And there is actually a um, kind of like a cutting guide inside there. So what I'm doing now is um, kind of cleaning it up. And I'm, I'm using a, a combination of a heat gun, a file, sandpaper, and just going to kind of clean up the edges. But you actually won't be able to see it once it's installed like that. And there's kind of the, uh, the general look. And then it just attaches with 3M double-sided tape and it's on there for good. All right, just gonna clean it up and we'll install the rest of it. So I have the lower one installed. Uh, there you can see the, uh, the upper one. And I was a little worried that it would stick out a little bit farther than the, uh, the OE plastic, um, but, but it's negligible, uh, if any. So I don't think I'll be able to notice that uh, at all. I think it looks great. It's either you can't see any of the uh, silver uh, the black chrome below it. Um, the plastic itself, if you're familiar with GM plastic and the the, the feel and, and texture and kind of weight of that, it, it's almost spot on uh, to that. And, and it, you can see it's pretty rigid. There's no, uh, no give to it. Um, they supply a, a good amount of uh, 3M tape, so I don't really need to, uh, to add anything there. And all right, let's move on to the next one. I'm, I am interested to see the outline here and how that kind of corresponds in here to see if it it does look like a uh, an add-on or, or if it looks clean. So we shall see. All right, so here it is just kind of placed um, on here. And you can see it does kind of change up the look of the, uh, the GMC logo. It does have kind of this stripe Okay, it'll stay on there. So it does have this upper stripe here, and then on the lower parts of the M, and then on the uh, cutout in the C that you can see a, uh, a gloss plastic outline in here. I'll take it off and we can see that that is normally not there on the, the GMC logo. So to be determined on whether or not that's annoying or not, or if it looks cheap, but uh, let's go ahead and get it on there and, and see what we think. So there we go. Went on really easy, obviously. It's just a, a piece of plastic that just kind of sticks on there with, with tape. Um, overall fit is pretty good. Um, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, looks wise, I love it. I think uh, it totally changes the uh, front end. Um, I can't wait to get the the fog lights around. I'm, these I'm probably just gonna pop off and, and have painted at um, from the guys at work. Um, but I really like that that look coupled with the uh, the black GMC logo, just the right amount of uh, chrome in the outline. And then once these are black, the contrast from the uh, lenses I think will look great. Um, so overall, quality wise is good. Fit is um, overall I'd probably say eighty percent there. Um, the top and bottom um, rows uh, grilled 
row, uh, stripe, whatever you want to call them, uh, are good. But then the middle one does have on both sides, see if you can hear it. There's a, it's not perfect. The curve doesn't quite follow the uh, shape there. So I'm actually going to see if the heat gun helps with that. Uh, just put a little bit of heat in it and then just kind of push on the, uh, the double sided tape that's right in this area that's up against the uh, grill and see if that'll hold it down. There you can maybe see the, the amount of movement and it's the same on the other side, perfectly firm, firm. And then in the middle one, there's just a little bit of give there. And then there you can see the little bit of the, uh, the existing grill behind there. And then you can actually see more of it on the top rung, but still, still pretty good. Well, the heat gun didn't do it. So I think it's just a, more than just a simple bend. I think there may be some molding uh, discrepancies inside there, but it's still, I mean, it's, it's in there firm and it's not going anywhere on any of these. And there you can see kind of the, uh, the additional piece right there. And then on the bottom of the M's and then on the C where there wasn't anything before. So you can notice that there's something there, but it, to be honest, it, it really does blend in. Uh, and then when you're back away from it, you really get the full effect and it looks like a, uh, a factory piece. I, I really like it. Um, so overall I'm impressed. Quality looks good. And I, I really like the way it looks. So thumbs up from, GR1 performance on their grill overlay. I dig it.